Thank you for joining me in my second video of the year, guys. Let's just head into what you can do and power of the people. So <clears throat> I talk about a lot of times, what can you do or what now or what, what can, what efforts make a difference, right? And so here, what I wanted to show you guys is this. Now that, I don't know if you've been listening at all to the news or anything like that, but now they're talking about like, maybe we shouldn't have lockdowns, maybe we shouldn't have mask mandates, maybe we shouldn't have this. And this is a response to the protests that are happening across the world. Okay, so you see here, protest response to the COVID-19, Wikipedia's got an article. Anti-lockdown protests around the world. Dutch cultural sector protests pandemic lockdown. Anti-vaccine, anti-lockdown protests erupt all over Toronto. Okay, and that's all in January. Dutch cultural sector protests pandemic lockdown measures. <laughs> Thousands protests against Dutch COVID restrictions. And then it goes into mostly Dutch things here, but well, let's see what happens when I hit more results. Football stadium theaters to open and protest against these things. Okay, this is what you can do. Just don't comply to what they want you to do. This one says protest demonstrations and strikes are ongoing around the world against national response to COVID pandemic by government bodies. Your government, no matter what it is, <clears throat> is designed to try and control things around people and people. Okay. So that's why it needs to remain small so that it doesn't have a whole lot of power to control very much. When we let it keep going and keep going and keep going, then it just runs wild. It puts us in camps. It puts us in these things instead of actually just doing what it's supposed to do. Now, there is a bill in the House of South Carolina here to say so as to allow individuals to opt out of infectious or contagious disease vaccinations and to prohibit discrimination against individuals who exercise their right not to be vaccinated. This is basically already covered under our discrimination laws. So the fact that we have to have another one means that somewhere someone has overstepped their bounds. People of South Carolina went to the state house and held a rally they the people wanted this basically they wanted to be able to say no you cannot you know discriminate against me based on my choices now i uh have mixed reasoning around this because basically like i said it's already basically covered you cannot discriminate people against disease the a disease that they have <clears throat> as long as they can do the job that you're wanting them to to do successfully within the parameters of what the job entails you can't tell them no so i don't know why we think we need this other than to push back against what the larger federal government is trying to do now i need to be clear here i think that people who want to vaccinate should i think if you are one of those people who you want the booster and you want all this stuff go get it i don't I treasure my ability to say no. I treasure my ability to go against the grain, to be able to make my own decision, basically. Even if it's to maybe get it later or something, uh, or just never get it at all. I want to be able to make that choice. I don't want the government to make it for me. And these things are what we can do to make sure that doesn't happen, okay? You get out there and you make your voice heard. Because, let's see, when I did this search, protest in world against lockdown. Okay, across the board, in the whole world, people are protesting this because it doesn't work. People still get COVID. People still die from it. This is a, just a new strain of a disease we already had. And like I said in my first one, this is not a big deal, but they made it a big deal. They told people that your jobs don't matter and we'll take it from you. Wait, they told people, because that's essentially what they did by saying if you weren't a, oh, I can't remember the word that they use, but basically if you weren't uh, a needed person, then you had to stay home. 
uh, lots of people lost their jobs because of that. Lots of people lost the way to um, take care of their family because of that. And that's wrong. They should not have ever done that. They really screwed us over whenever they did that. Okay. Anti-protest lockdowns around the world, rooters. Here you can watch Australians, Londoners uh, against the safe pass. Protests over responses. Okay, so some of them are violent, apparently, although I'm not sure about that one. Um, all the ones I've seen have been not violent, but they're not, but people aren't standing for this anymore. So guys, your right to protest, your right to have your voice heard is what you should do. People in my area protested in front of the hospital because they knew that that was where they were going to get the most press about it. And a lot of those people were people in the medical field who just didn't want it. You know, why are you making me do it? I mean, they already make you do the flu shot. Okay. Which to me is just dumb. Also, it's just dumb. If, well, anyway, I'm not going to go down that rant. I'm just here to show you that when you protest, when you say no, and you do it in a, in a way that is not like burning things down and hurting other people and et cetera, you just say, no, I'm not going to do it. Things turn around magically. Why? Because ultimately, even when they were kings and serfs and everything else, the people, the majority of people rule. Okay, and the majority of people were okay with like, hey, let's take some protective measures, but we're not okay with you putting us in camps. We're not okay with you taking our jobs. We're not okay with you destroying our economies. We're not okay with you telling us, hey, you can only spend so much time with your family. That should be the family's decision. Uh, hey, government gets to make all of a sudden because of this thing that really is not that bad government got to make all kinds of decisions for you that were personal and people people are starting to be like no 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 your quiet response or even your vocal response of no i'm not going to do it makes a difference it makes other people think some people may think you're dumb but later on they're gonna see that what you're saying is right so just just hang just hang in there just hang in there when, I, when all this first happened, I did the did the math. I was like 0.01% of people are dying. And it, and it held at that the whole time. There wasn't an increase in deaths as far as percentages go. We didn't have anything like that. But the news pumped it up as if we did. My husband works in the hospital. He said that we were here in South Carolina. We were the most full hospital. Like no one was more full than we are. And we have 400 beds. 400 people is the most full. Hospitals are at capacity because they only have like 200 beds. Like you guys really have to think when they tell you we're at capacity, you have to ask them what capacity is. Because if we're the most full and we only have 400 beds and we filled those up, right? 400 people is the max here versus the billions that live here like come on come on they in order for me as someone who just is out here living their life f to freak out about this the hospital itself would have to be completely full like i would start to have to see a lot of people get hurt or be so sick they're dying and we're just not seeing that we won't see that because of the advances we've made in medical science because of how much like you pass down your um, immune system most of the time. So our immune systems are very good nowadays. We have very good nutrition. We have very good all this stuff. And you're, so you're not going to see that. But guys, just think about these numbers. When they give you percentages and stuff like that, when they give you that, think about what the actual numbers are. So... That's just what I want to show you today. Your protest, your saying no, your maybe losing a job. A lot of people did. A lot of people left their jobs. Makes a point. And it tells people, you don't get to tell me what to do with my life. You are not my God. You are not my family. And you are not me. And you don't get to do that. So 
anyways, guys, uh, if you did lose your job because of any of this, I'm sorry. Just know that there are companies out here now telling you that the perk of working there is that you don't have to have the vaccine. So just know things are turning around and you'll get a job and it might even be better than the one that you had. I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to pray and read your Bible and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.